Hello, this is Mikel Durano. Well, I am going to talk here about uh, some experiences that we have had about reducing open data from various sources. Uh, especially, we are very interested with Dr. Silvia Simon in, uh, in gender inequality, in street names, in school names, and also in the presence of uh, researchers in Wikidata and Wikipedia. So, uh, now, uh, I, I must tell you that open data are still scarce. Uh, however, there are many opportunities yet to use them. At least here in uh, our region in Catalonia, well, we have several sources, uh, governmental sources especially, uh, for researchers, not many, but we know the names of all researchers. We don't have the gender because this is private data. Uh, we also have the street names. Street names are provided by the government as well. It's not pretty well maintained, but we can do something about it. And of course, we can get street names from the collection of streets in OpenStreetMap. We can even compare them, okay? Uh, as far as schools, the local government maintains a list of schools uh, every year with all the changes, new schools, schools that are no longer there and so on. Uh, that have uh, several data, okay? So, uh, about streets. Well, in general, in Wikipedia, you know that in general, there are only streets that have heritage value. Uh, not, even though there are cities like probably Brussels, for instance, that have all streets in Wikidata and probably in Wikipedia, at least in our regional environment, streets are not in Wikipedia and neither in Wikidata. So the, the question is, uh, if we want to address the question of eponyms in streets, because we are interested in, in understanding the difference between number of females giving eponyms in streets and number of males giving numbers, names in streets. We need a database. We need data in Wikidata. So what do we do? Just download a spreadsheet and uh, count the number of streets in Catalonia. There are 150,000 streets in Catalonia. These are about 30,000 unique names. Among these, maybe uh, 2,000, 3,000 uh, bear an eponym, like uh, Martin Luther King uh, Street or whatever, or John Doe Street. So uh, we are interested in, uh, in, in assessing the names of streets that bear an eponym and asking us, do they deserve to be present in, uh, in Wikidata? Are they worth and notable to be present in, in Wikipedia too? Because especially for minorized languages like uh, Catalan, for instance, uh, it's important to know the history. It's important to know people who deserve names of streets, of, of course, schools as well, and other other items. So uh, we did some work about it. Of course, in the case of streets, we collaborate with uh, OpenStreetMap, okay, that uh, using the Wikidata tag or even using the the node uh, ways and relation IDs as well in Wikidata items. I must say that it is not an easy task because as far as street names, there are some variations in street names. Um, uh, just uh, letters, uh, misspellings, uh, sometimes things seem the same, but they are not the same and so on. So we have to clean up, to clean up data. That's not an easy task at all. About schools is slightly more simple because the government maintains the list of schools. However, in this case, we have used several sources because what, do, what are we interested in about school? Well, we are interested probably about the name of school, of school of the pony if it is available, but we are also interested in the number of students, about its size, of course, about uh, if there is if it's private or public, how many graphs are at the, at the level, how many people are about to enter university. I am a university professor. This is a university group. So, of course, we, we get students from high schools so knowing whether school has a big or middle or low number of students means that we can assess how we must 
uh, invest our effort in promoting our university and our studies in um, our case chemistry uh, to uh, local schools. So, for instance, are they financed by public money? Which is the date of the foundation, uh, etc., etc. And these are provided by various sources. There are several open data listings that are currently maintained by the regional government. Of course, this is this would be a great idea for a citizen science project. However, uh, of course, it would be good that each school maintains their own data. However, we clash, of course, with uh, the problem of a conflict of interest. Even though we might, we might say, okay, you should be neutral. So that's something that should be thought on. Of course, the, the, the photo in the previous case of streets, the photo, the image of the school, uh, many, many ideas there. So this is as far as school is concerned. Uh, finally, about, the, uh, of course, the relevant question of does a person having an eponym deserve a Wikipedia page? We think yes. About researcher names, this is far more difficult. We are university, we are university researchers, and there are many, many researchers that are not yet in wiki and wikidata nor in wikipedia and f unfortunately using uh, automatic tools like orchidator or other tools that enter names in wikidata we, we find that many researchers have several entries in wikidata up to three or four so there is a huge amount of work to be done to clean up data uh, there is open data from our regional government. Some universities have open data as well. Uh, the websites with subs can be scrapped. Very complicated. But if you want, if you want uh, projects like Wikidata, Wiki Project Chemistry, or even Scolia uh, to be successful, you need clean data as far as the researcher names is concerned. And of course, if you want to carry out gender studies for researchers, like we will see later, you need clean data, you need reliable data. So from now on, I uh, will provide you some hints. This is not a complete account of our projects. For instance, we have interacted with OpenStreetMap in the sense that for streets or for schools, Wikidata answers the question, where is this? while OpenStreetMap answers the question, what is there, okay? Even there are very, very interesting tools like uh, OSM Wikidata Link that interwinkle data. So very interesting. Uh, in Wikidata, for instance, we have the instance of street or educational center. And for eponyms, we use the name after someone that's P138 uh, property. In the case of OpenStreetMap, we use the amenity school, highway street, and for as far as the eponym, we use the tag name etymology Wikidata uh, equals the, the Q number in Wikidata. Of course, we can use also the Wikipedia tag. So uh, we import in Wikidata and we map in OSM. For instance, for streets, what is a street? A street is a collection of segments, so it has geometry. The same for schools, it has geometry. So how do Wikipedia projects and Wikidata items account for geometry the best? And the simplest idea is to use Wikimaps or, and to use OpenStreetMap information. So the same for streets, the same for schools, okay? We enter eponyms. Uh, it's difficult because sometimes you have to go one after one. The open etymology map uh, links Wikidata and Wikipedia, of course, and OpenStreetMap, giving different colors to the source and to the type of items, whether it's a person, whether it's a, I will say, a wind, whether it's a geographical num uh, number or name. Here you have the account. These very interesting tools. Uh, as far as um, relevant information, uh, as far as streets, like we have here in the Rosalind Franklin Street in, in a local town near Girona in Catalonia, we have uh, realized that there are a huge number of male names and the very low numbers of female names here in Catalonia. 
The person having the most number of streets is Marie Curie with 28 streets. However, the most important, this is the most important scientist, female. The most important male scientist has 200 streets. As far as non-scientists, well, we have plenty of people who are in arts and politics and, uh, and everything else. And the number of streets of non-scientists is high, very, very larger than the number of streets of scientists. In any case, uh, women scientists are doubly, doubly, uh, have a double discrimination. First of all, scientists appear far less in street names and also in school names than non-scientists. And indeed, women appear far less than men. So women scientists, we, we must do a huge effort to provide female names to schools and streets and also to push for science names. This is in the case of, uh, uh, sorry, I made, uh, okay, here. I, I just want to compare the, the, the scientists and street names in Catalonia. Uh, at left, you have uh, Marie Curie streets, there are scars. At right, you have Alexander Fleming streets. Okay, as you can see, these are the two persons having most streets in Catalonia. Well, comparison is very simple. We have a big gender issue here. Uh, as far as schools, uh, this is just the number of female names, uh, not only in Catalonia, but also in Valencia and the Balearic Islands. Okay, uh, there, are, there are many, many females uh, female, uh, female names that give eponym to a street that have no Wikipedia entry, unfortunately. And uh, uh, this is the, in the case of schools, we have 1600 primary schools. There are about 600, uh, 600 schools that have a person name. And uh, well, as you can see, there are few female names. Uh, the same here, you have a a plot for the number of uh, schools and eponyms in Catalonia. And this is the number of high schools have an eponym in Catalonia, okay? Uh, at left, female, at right, male. Comparison is almost always the same. I will skip this. And I would like to pinpoint a very interesting study in a Nature Group journal about notability. Uh, this cross verified database of that people have the reference and uh, well, here you have in red the municipalities where the most notable person is a man and in blue municipalities whose most notable person is a woman against the comparison is for men is uh, men are always always uh, promoted and this can be done for any region in the world by the way we only focus it in Catalonia, but we could focus in any part of the world. Just check, take a look at this interesting paper and you will be clear. So in the case of notability, only 197 places in Catalonia have notable scientists. So again, women, uh, women are doubly discriminated as women and as scientists. Scientists have a hard time to be notable. Women have a much harder time to be notable and so on. So uh, I will stop here because this, these are three cases, repeat streets, schools, and notability for researchers. And you can find a lot of uh, information in our websites. And that's it. Thank you very much for everything.